Welcome to Electro Online. The most important rule in exponents is the rule over here, rule number one, where we have x to the n power times x to the n power. Notice the bases are the same, which means we're going to add the exponents. But we have to be very careful because along with this rule come among the most common mistakes that we end up making when we're not careful. And here are three, probably the most common three mistakes we make using exponents. Notice that if instead of we have a multiplication, we have an addition, we cannot use that rule. You cannot say that x to the n plus x to the m is equal to x to the n plus m. That is not the case because it's an addition instead of a multiplication. For that rule to be able to be exercised and used, it must be x to the m times x to the m. It must be multiplication. The next mistake that we make often is when we have x to the n times y to the m that is not equal to x times y to the n plus m because here the bases are not the same. Remember, those are the rules. In order for us to be able to use that rule, the bases must be the same and we must multiply the two key items in that to make that rule work. So otherwise, you cannot use that rule. And thirdly, something we'll get into a little bit more, when we have the combination of x plus y raised to the n power that is not equal to x to the n plus y to the n. Again, a very common mistake. You can again look at it because the addition here, we cannot use that rule either. And we'll talk about that rule some more later. Three very common mistakes. Try not to make those. Here we have some more examples. For example, x to the third power times x to the fourth power is equal to x to the three plus four, which adds up to seven. So it's equal to x to the seven power. Again, the base are the same and we're multiplying. So we're able to use that rule. Here we have two to the second power times two to the fourth power, which is two to the two plus four, which is two to the sixth power. Basically, two multiply by itself six times. There are six factors of two. When you multiply them together, you get 64. Another way of looking at that very same problem is you can say, well, 2 to the second power, that's 2 times 2, and 2 to the fourth power, that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, four factors. So that's 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. 4 times 16 is 64. You get the very same result. Obviously, for the rule to work, you should get the same result. But notice you can look at the very same problem in two different ways, and it's exactly the same thing. What if you have three numbers multiplied together, each with exponents, like the number a? a can represent any number. And notice we have a times a times a, but it's raised to the fourth power, to the second power, to the fifth power. The rule is the same when we have more than two bases. When you multiply, you can simply add all the exponents, 4 plus 2 plus 5, which is 11. So this is equal to a to the 11th. And finally, what if we add or what if we multiply two bases together and one of the exponents is negative? Doesn't matter, we still employ the very same rule. y to the fourth power times y to the negative two power is equal to y to the four plus the negative two. Four plus the negative two is two, so this becomes y squared. So y to the second power, we also say y squared. y to the third power, we say y cubed. So those are some of the easy ways of expressing an exponent when it's a two or a three. Anyway, that's the major rule, the first rule in exponents, really understand what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do with that rule and that way you prevent from making those mistakes. And that is how it's done.